Greetings, angels of the new dawning of the new earth. The new Eden is at hand. The energies of 9-9 coming through the field. The energies of the full moon and the eclipse are coming in fully now. These waves of energy are pulsating into the earth fields right now. The Schumann has been holding steady about 15 hertz today. And there's been a major uptick in the frequency of earthquakes in the past 24 hours. There's been over 200 earthquakes and 1.5 or greater. Multiple earthquakes in Puerto Rico. Largest one 6.4. There was a 5.2 Nicaragua. 6.0 Papua New Guinea. 4.6 Indonesia. And swarms of earthquakes around Puerto Rico. As these energies are amping up, ramping up, we're feeling them through our vessel, through our energy bodies, through our heart center. We're feeling the pulsing through our three Dantians, the three elixir fields, energy fields, through our sacred vessel, through the rainbow bridge of the holy chakras. Today, tonight, 9 11 p.m. Eastern Time, as I'm recording this, the moon is shining in all her glory. It's very surreal out tonight. I stepped outside before starting recording this to take on the energies of the divine goddess, moon energy, in the night sky with the clouds rising up from the horizon into the moon, and there was a rainbow glow around the moon, rainbow sphere. Today also, the shock wave came into Norway from a cosmic pulse. There are five waves of energy coming in through the day, through what's being called a cosmic pulse. These cosmic waves coming in. Many people are feeling this in many different ways. And I want to take a moment to talk about manifesting new earth or new Eden. In the Buddhist arts, we would call the pure land. The great teacher, Barry Long, would teach about living from the center, from the crystal palace, the center of all things being the still point, the zero point, what Walter Russell would call the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. The center is the still point. Everything rotates around that center, like the singularity of a black hole, the eye of a storm, the eye of a tornado, the center of a wheel. What the Buddha saw is the wheel of birth and death, or the reincarnation cycle. There's cycles within cycles. From this center, in the Taoist and Buddhist arts, we call the center of the brain the crystal palace. Sometimes you hear this, the crystal cave, the crystal portal, many different names. This is the center of the brain, a crystalline structure where the pineal and the pituitary, the sacred glands, pulsate within this vessel. In the Taoist arts, the esoteric alchemy, we say there are nine caves or nine holes of the brain, the center being the crystal cave or the crystal palace, crystal temple, portal, gateway, many different names. And the center always symbolizes the peace, the harmony, the stillness, and emanating from this, the harmony, the peace is the joy, the bliss, happiness. So living from that center, which connects us to the heart center, the true center is always in the middle, the middle path, the middle dantian, the heart chakra, living from the heart, being connected to all things, the kingdom of heaven that is within, the kingdom of peace, the kingdom of God, the unborn mind of Buddha, living from that center, we experience the peace, the joy, the harmony. And very long would say, what would this world be like if every human lived from that center? It would be Eden. It would be paradise. And that's what we are transitioning to. That is part of this ascension process. As all beings becoming real human of the light, living 100% from the heart, from the center, from the peace, from the joy. And we are reaching the critical mass where the 144,000 living 100% from the 
heart connects and uplifts, rising up, ascending all beings and all realms. So thank you for joining us on this journey of the great awakening of humanity, manifesting heaven on earth through our sacred vessel, through the unborn mind of pure awareness and pure intent where we perfectly resolve all things, all conflict, all separation, all duality here now in this body, in this temple, all is perfectly resolved in this now, here and now, for all eternity. Namaste. Today's first transmission, today's first transmission from Laura Pleiadian, the eternal stream of love, aligned in bliss, the moments flow as sacred drops of water become the ocean. No thing is outside of this, the endless love of creation. As magical union exists, so too the pure state of being, merged with all worlds and eternity now, this glorious love ignites all hearts, desiring eternal union, drawing to itself the very source of its desire, remembering the wholeness it knows the truth. The Beloved dances the eternal dance in the arms of the Beloved. That which is attuned to the heart of it all is the very presence it desires and merges with. The pull of love awakens the hero, and what is not yet seen or known is kept sacred as if the dream of a memory buried deep in the heart comes to life. This is the joining and the merging, taking place before the vision, before the landing in the streams of the tangible, which then becomes the known. How else are we to fall deep into it, if not immersed into the unknown? For it is the state of surrender that only bows to love, that is the sacred benchmark of its revealing. As the wind blows and the flow continues, the Beloved always exists for the Beloved. How else can it be but for its union? It is drawn to its very self. No restraints are in order for this love, as its purity is without limits or boundaries. The walls broken down become the very grounds that become the foundation of its knowingness. As the new home is forever and eternal its sacred love, beloved and beloved, loving eternally, drawn to itself the purity of its being, no longer silent in its emptiness, becomes the building blocks of its pure, eternal love. From Laura Pleiadian, the new divine humanity dot com, and from the higher perspectives dot com, the rare full moon the full wolf moon eclipse get ready for a massive energy shift on january 10 2020 the lunar eclipse on january 10 2020 is an event that has been anticipated for years personally for me about five years it is a clo it is closely aligned with conjunct a once every 36 year heavy purgative and nuclear Yet shadowy aspects Saturn conjunct Pluto and Saturn's own sign of monolithic Capricorn. The bright side is many will come out of the other end of this moment of pure fateful tribulation cleansed, purified, open-hearted, replenished and blessed with the type of experience and purity of spirit that absolutely nothing but rough times in life can bring. Nothing, absolutely nothing, can supplement the character and purity of human spirit obtained through struggles, and there are no exceptions. Human, human beings do not develop as they should without hard times. And this is part of the breakthrough process. Higherperspectives.com The breakthrough of the struggle. Letting go, letting go, letting go. And from Magenta Pixie the reboot at the time of the indigo lunar eclipse brings a clear and clean timeline and spiral formation as a singularity vortex field. It is indeed the portal, the wormhole, or stargate system you have been looking for your whole life. 
And from Elizabeth, Peru, it's now less than three days into the full moon lunar eclipse. Are you feeling an immense sense of readiness? Have you been implementing your inner guidance and soul's messages ever since we moved over into 2020? As we look ahead to the magnificent energy sift that this week will bring, how are you preparing for the full moon lunar eclipse? It's as impactful as the ring of fire eclipse, if not more so, because this one comes with Uranus moving direct in a cluster of profound planetary conjunctions confirmations are incoming and from elaine di giorgio the spiritual law of blessings when you bless someone you are invoking the law of blessings and directing divine energy towards them when this is done with genuine intent a shaft of divine white life light is transferred into the person you are blessing raising your hand in the direction of the person you wish to bless directs the blessings towards them Bless you and you and you. Blessings, Elaine. The Giorgio Herus Medium. And the code today from Gaia Portal. Celebrations occur within each hue being as the light enters. Desperations are released and abandoned for all time. Human strands are reconfigured to the hue being. And from the Zolkin Times, Blue Planetary Storm. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its key words are perfect, manifest, and produce. Day 10 of the White Dog Wave Spell is the perfect storm. No running or hiding from this powerful energy. You will get blown away. Today is Blue Storm, which represents self-generation, catalyst, and energy. If you are brave and ride this storm and can harness its energy... You can achieve incredible, life-changing things. Most people can't cope with the disruption and the craziness, and if you are one of these people, all you can do is seek shelter and find comfort in knowing it will all blow away by tomorrow. And from Christina Papagiorgio, Blue Planetary Storm, Ken 179, 7 January 2020, with the 17 and 71 energies. 712020 equals 714 equal 12 equal 3 73 7 magic mystic spirituality solitude 3 holy trinity joy creativity and communication and this is the magic of joy the magic of the new earth 37 into the 73 kin 179 equal 8 Abundance, infinity, flow, in-breath, out-breath, manifesting magical planetary transformation through purification for greater love on our planet. Day 10 in the White Dog Wave Spell of Unconditional Love, Loyalty, Devotion, Service, Friendship, and Faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from Source Love in order to be love. Today we have very active energies providing for action-packed manifestation we are catalyzing great change in our physical world in order to perfect the production of unconditional love planetary tone 10 in the physical realm action produces power perfects essence manifestation the tenth stage of the wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined is possible and more it is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor the forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality and our lives begin to reflect the deep soul longings that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with our beloveds today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness and joy both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Nova Gaia, a powerful day to get physical using divine alchemy to manifest from the ethers into matter. Let us bless all the water on our planet and give thanks for the purifying, soaking rains to continue to fall in all areas of Australia, quenching the thirst of the dry land, inviting the elementals and dragons to purify the air with fresh, clean, gentle winds, and catalyzing health, restoring negatively charged ions to energize 
all those weary and ailing bodies of both human and animal kin, it's done times a godzillion. Today holds incredible codes for purification, transformation, and planetary evolution. So let us pray and hold the intention that Gaia fully catalyzes these cleansing energies to restore her pristine, life-sustaining, enhancing blueprint. So planetary kin, trust in the power of great spirit today and the winds of change to catalyze the tremendous changes our planet needs. Today's question is, how can I harness the power of the storm to catalyze great transformation and manifest healing in my world? Divine blessings for unleashing a great deluge of positive, life-enhancing transformation. Kin 179, Blue Planetary Storm. The mantra, the code for the day is, I perfect in order to catalyze. Producing energy, I seal the matrix of self-generation. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of accomplishment. Aho. One last thing I wanted to add about manifesting Eden and talk about myths and mythology. All the ancient cultures and mystical traditions had myths of these paradise realms such as Eden, Shambhala, Valhalla, Happy Hunting Ground, Pure Land, Many different names symbolizing the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of harmony, peace, joy, bliss. These myths were created or manifest to speak directly to our psyche, to our inner conscious mind or unconscious mind, to bridge the two worlds, the physical and the non-physical, emptiness and form, form and emptiness. So these symbols of Eden or paradise, symbolized consciousness in an unconscious state, the unmanifest, the paradise, the purity, the pure awareness of the unborn, the unconscious. And the new earth, the new Eden, symbolizes the conscious manifestation of bliss, pure awareness, bridging the two worlds together, the conscious into the unconscious and the unconscious into the conscious to tap into our greatest power, our greatest love, our total awareness, what we call pure awareness. Last night, many vivid and intense dreams. One that is very clear was a dream I had about traveling to parallel timelines through a machine that I created that would take us to parallel timelines or parallel dimensions, however you want to look at it. In this dream, I jumped to a timeline that I remembered of another lifetime. And in this timeline, it manifest the hair on my body. I'm, my arms started to crystallize like crystals. And as I ran my hands over, the, it was like sharp crystals. And it symbolized you know, this crystalline energy, this diamond light coming in, crystalline codes, the crystalline DNA. Many years ago, I trained in an art called quantum jumping, developed by a teacher named Bert Goldman. And the process was teaching us how to jump to parallel dimensions, parallel universes, timelines, however you want to look at it, to merge with ourself in that timeline that has already accomplished anything you'd like to achieve in any field, any art, any practice to assist us in this realm, in this timeline to accomplish anything that you'd like to achieve. It was a process called quantum jumping. So many people are seeing this, these quantum leaps, these quantum jumps as we're merging all timelines, we're jumping timelines, shifting timelines, and this is manifesting through the collective consciousness of humanity, many people are seeing this in different ways and things such as the Mandela effect or parallel realities or timelines. Let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing through these great shifts, these great waves, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your visions, your vision for new earth, 
for the great awakening, the event, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below the video and click the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future updates. And I'd also like to thank everyone joining us on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in our beloved Ecuador, South America, and the foothills of the Holy Andes Mountains of the ancient Incan Empire. If you'd like to learn more about this mission for healing retreat centers and sustainable communities, you can join us on primedisclosure.com and click Dao de Ecuador at the top of the page. Thank you for joining us today, angelic beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.